Hi, I'm Paris, and if your Wi-Fi network has gotten overwhelmed by all the neighbors' Wi-Fi signals, by so many devices trying to connect in your home, it might be time for you to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6. Epic review guys. Wi-Fi 6 is also called 802.11ax. It's a new standard. There are actually a few phones out there that actually support it. And the big improvement with Wi-Fi 6 isn't so much that it has a much faster total speed that it can transmit your data at. It's more that it can transmit it at a faster speed to many, many devices that you probably have in your home. And it can deal with your neighbor's Wi-Fi signals coming into your home and causing interference. The company Vannon has made one of the first low-cost Wi-Fi 6 routers, and they were kind enough to send me one to try out. And not just one, they sent me an identical router to do as a giveaway on this video. So keep watching, I'll explain soon how you can have a chance to win one of these routers for yourself. This RX4 1500 Wi-Fi 6 router goes for about $89 right now, and you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. So what in the world are these weird terms that they're promoting here on the front of the package? Well, this picture does a pretty good job of explaining it. So many people now have 20, 30 devices in their home that access the internet. The things get a little crowded Wi-Fi wise in your house. And you have people in apartment complexes, condos, neighborhoods where the houses are packed in close together. So you not only have all of your devices trying to talk to your router, you've got all those devices of your neighbors talking to their router and all of those signals coming through your place. Routers don't like that. Their only solution in the past has been to either skip to a different channel, which there are only a limited number of, or bump up the transmission power to try to blast your signal to your devices, irregardless of whether that's going to upset your neighbor's Wi-Fi network. Well, with the Wi-Fi 6 standard, there's finally a system in place where your router can be aware of the networks around it and basically code so it knows these signals are not something I have to deal with. So it, it sort of cuts out that interference and the Wi-Fi 6 routers now have more frequencies they can work with which means there's more opportunity for them to jump around and see something that doesn't have a lot of network traffic already happening and use that to communicate to devices in your network. Another big improvement is that it can talk to multiple devices at the same time. Traditionally routers would talk to one device at a time, take care of the business there, go on to the next device that slows down your connection, which really matters a lot if you're playing a game. It can also keep track of which kind of data and how much data different devices need. Your Kindle isn't going to connect very often, but when it does, it's going to want to be able to download that book quickly. Your television set when you're running Netflix is going to have a constant stream of a lot of data going to it and your phone, some of the times there won't be a lot of data. If you're playing a game or watching a video, sometimes there might be. So Wi-Fi 6 routers can work more efficiently with the devices in your network and play better with the networks around you. Here's the RX4 1500 router. It's about the same size as the router you have now probably. It's got four antenna. I think it's only got one light on it, which is kind of interesting. I'm used to routers having so many lights now with all their different indications. It's got one little green light there that either stays on or flashes, and that's it for how it communicates to you visually. On the back, the blue port is where you will connect your modem, so the signal goes in there. You've got four gigabit ethernet ports that can go out to other devices, to printers, to things that aren't wireless and you need to plug in directly. A reset button, recessed here, the WPS button to make it easy to connect devices, your power plug goes there, and on off switch. Also included the power transformer, an ethernet cable, and a fairly short list of instructions considering all the things this device can do, but you can go online and download the full user manual if you'd like. Just reading through the instructions, I can tell you it's not super hard to set up this new Wi-Fi 6 router, but it's sort of got the, the, you do it the way you used to do routers several years ago, where once you got them plugged in and the light goes green, you have to go in from a computer. I guess you could go in from a phone. You have to go to a specific IP address and log in there and manually go in and set the things. Whereas this is what I currently use for Wi-Fi in the house. This is the TP-Link Deco M5 
And I have two of these. I reviewed this over a year ago. The company sent them to me to try out. And it's a mesh network. So the two devices work together to give you Wi-Fi coverage over a much larger area. If you have a very large, multi-story home, mesh networks can be a good way to go. This new router can also be used in a mesh style. If you buy more than one, you can have them mesh together to get that same feature. But my hope is with the improvements they've made in Wi-Fi 6, that this one device will be able to provide a good Wi-Fi connection everywhere in our home. But I was telling you about the setup interface that it's sort of a step backwards with what I see I have to do here with uh, the Wi-Fi 6 router. The Deco unit was set up from my phone. You download an app, you plug them in, and then you go into the app and it takes you through setting them up. Very easy for anyone to do. But let me go disconnect my Deco units, get this new RX4 1500 plugged in, and I'll show you what's involved. I reset my modem connected it via the ethernet port to the new Wi-Fi 6 router, plugged it in, and the one green light that's on it is lit up, so I think it's ready to connect to. Looking at Wi-Fi networks on my phone, I see the Jupiter RX4 1500, both the 2.4 gigahertz, that's the first one, and the five gigahertz listed second. Let's attach to the 2.4 gigahertz. It says I'm connected. So I am connected, but apparently there's no password on the network right now, so I do need to go in and set that up. Otherwise, it's free Wi-Fi for the neighborhood. So in Chrome on my phone, I'm going to go to this IP address. And now I need to log in with the default password of admin. That was no problem. And so if you remember setting up routers in years past, this is the kind of screen it gets you. It's not nearly as user-friendly as an app that takes you through everything. But looking at the formatting of their web page, you can see, really, it's designed for a computer screen, not for the screen on your phone. I set the Wi-Fi name to the same one I was using before, and now my devices are just grabbing on to the new network. So you do need to be sure you set the login and password for the router, and you put a password for the Wi-Fi. Once you've set those things up, you probably don't need to go back to that screen too often, unless you want to do more complex things like setting the quality of service where certain devices get priority. You can also go into parental controls, set it so that different devices on the network can only have access from this time to this time. As for the signal strength, the reason we were using a mesh network is because our house is rectangularly shaped and the router with the modem is in one far corner of the rectangle. We've got a bedroom in the other far corner. Wasn't getting the best signal there. The mesh network took care of that and I'm over in that side of the house now and I'm seeing on my little Wi-Fi lines that I'm getting full Wi-Fi minus one line. So I think the signal strength should be fine for pretty much all uses all the way to this corner of the house. If I had a larger house, if it turns out I get complaints from the people in this corner of the house, then I can always pick up another one of these, set up a mesh network again, where I can have the second device in the middle of the house, and then it sort of reinforces and retransmits the signal so that there's a stronger signal everywhere, hoping I won't need to do that. Now, do you get any benefit of having a Wi-Fi 6 router if you don't have Wi-Fi 6 devices? Yes. Not all the benefits because the Wi-Fi 6 on the receiving end can do more complicated negotiations with your Wi-Fi 6 router. So each of your devices on the network has a better experience. In other words, they, they're smarter and play better together if they're all Wi-Fi 6. But because it can talk to multiple devices at the same time, rather than what older style routers did where it could just talk to each device separately in order very quickly and go through them all, now it has the capability to, as it says on the box, talk to four times more devices at the same time. So you should see some improvement in your Wi-Fi if you get a Wi-Fi 6 router, even without the Wi-Fi 6 devices. However, I have a Wi-Fi 6 chip that I'm gonna be upgrading my laptop to use. So soon I will have, like in the next week, a Wi-Fi 6 device to try with it. And I'll be doing a video about upgrading that Wi-Fi 6 chip and if that seems to make any noticeable difference in the Wi-Fi. So I'll link to that at the end of this video once I have that video up. If you'd like to follow up and see what having a Wi-Fi 6 device does, in conjunction with the Wi-Fi 6 router. Thanks again to the folks at Vanning for sending me the Wi-Fi 6 router so I could upgrade my network and sending me this extra one to send to one viewer. So it's very simple. I'm going to give this away on February 1st, 2020. All you have to do to be in contention, to be the one chosen, is just comment something about Wi-Fi or technology down below this video. I'll look through the comments, pick one at random. I'll get in touch with you by responding to your comment and letting you know if you are the winner and then I will get this in the mail to you. Be sure you subscribe to this channel so you'll get notified when that Wi-Fi chip upgrade video goes up and other technology videos and I'll see you 
on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At every group you guys are gifted to try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.